Well, there it is, a sign of the season as we approach the holidays. We've got Thanksgiving to get through, and then it's the Christmas season, and Springfield about to get ready uh, to get into the spirit of that as uh, we're going to be lighting this Christmas tree this upcoming weekend. It's not a bad night out there. Skies are clear. It's quiet. 50 degrees currently. Winds a little bit breezy, making it seem a little cooler out there. And those winds overnight tonight will continue, and that will help to stir up the air continually throughout the night tonight. And that's going to keep locations to the west and also to the north of the interstate, or at least most areas north of the interstate, from getting as cold as we've seen in previous nights. I think areas off to the east, though, will still dip into the 30s. That's where winds will be lighter, longer overnight tonight, closer to that area of high pressure that's located up near the St. Louis area. Let's talk temperatures from today. They were warm off to the southwest. Fayetteville coming in at 71, 62 here in Springfield. Not bad, above normal, but then you head up the road and... It was only 53 today and Rolla closer to the center of that cold air mass. It was kind of giving us a glancing blow today. We are going to find that cold air mass receding off to the east and warmer weather will be building in from the west. Right now looking at a very quiet scene regionally at area high pressure passing off to the east and looks like by tomorrow afternoon we're going to find warmer air flooding the area. Winds are going to be picking up too. Uh, looks like they're going to get rather gusty during the afternoon, and we're going to have another sun-filled day. Look for temperatures to surge. As I said at the top of the show, looks like upper 60s here in Springfield tomorrow afternoon, and even warmer on Thursday as the air continues to warm across the area. Winds are going to be gusty out of the southwest. In fact, it looks like uh, we're going to find gusts between 30 and 40 miles per hour developing. That's mainly going to be along and north of the interstate. Uh, that's going to lead to an increased fire danger. And really that goes for Wednesday as well. It's going to be that combination of dry air and higher winds that will lead to that increased fire danger. Just a couple of days there in a row where you're going to want to avoid any burning of any kind. But Thursday, again, very warm for November. It looks like a pretty good chunk of the area is going to be looking at highs in the 70s. Overnight tonight, uh, you can see again our coldest readings are going to be off to the east where it looks like uh, low to mid 30s here over south central Missouri. Here in Springfield about 39 for the low tonight. For tomorrow we'll see highs ranging from the low 60s over south central Missouri to upper 60s to the west and northwest 67 here in Springfield. Tomorrow night not as chilly area wide but still cooler over south central Missouri and north central Arkansas. Here in Springfield we'll uh, bottom out around 50 with highs on Thursday getting into the low to mid 70s over much of the area. Still a bit cooler though over south central Missouri we'll find highs in the upper 60s, but here in Springfield I think 74 and that's going to put us up close to the record high for that day. The record high on Thursday is 76 here in Springfield, so only a couple of degrees off of that. You can see the rest of the area it looks like we will fall well short of record highs and other locations. We're going to hold on to the smile pattern through Thursday, Friday into Saturday, but we will find a dip in the jet stream helping to nudge a cold front across the area on Sunday. In fact, it looks like that front arrives early in the day. That's going to cause temperatures to actually move backwards, if you will, or fall. We're going to find temperatures in the 50s ahead of that front for the early morning hours. Looks like the front goes through Springfield about 7, maybe 8 o'clock in the morning, and then temperatures fall back in the 40s. Also, when the front moves through, the rain will set in, and we're going to find a, a, a chunk of the day on Sunday looking rather wet. The rain should taper off from the northwest, so during the afternoon, but the damage will have been done. It looks like a chilly finish to our weekend. In terms of rainfall totals, it looks like the heavier amounts are going to be north of the interstate, where we could see amounts close to an inch. Along and south of the interstate, though, still some healthy rainfall there with totals generally between a half inch and three quarters of an inch. That's where we're going to fall here in the Springfield area. Looking at the uh, forecast, you can see the numbers not looking bad at all for November 74 Thursday, upper 60s to low 70s on Friday and Saturday. Both of these days will feature more cloud cover, which is going to be making that temperature call a little bit more tricky on Sunday. Again, that temperature of 54 is going to be around seven o'clock in the morning with readings falling back into the 40s. A chilly start to uh, our upcoming holiday week with highs in the low to mid 50s on Monday. And then on Tuesday, we'll have another system moving through, likely generating some cloud cover. Don't know yet if it's going to generate much in the way of shower chances, but I'll throw that chance in there. Uh, right now, it doesn't look like there's going to be any major storms, though, impacting the area ahead of Thanksgiving. This is amazing that the week before Thanksgiving is so mild. I mean, yeah. it's amazing that we're up near the record high on Thursday. And then November has this November of 2020 has been a November that has offered up a lot of warmth. We've already had eight days where we topped 70 degrees here in Springfield, and we could see
could see three more added to that tally. Hey, yeah. no complaints here. Yeah, no complaints. <laughs> on the back end, it gets a little chillier, but nothing like the extreme cold we saw. That's in, just uh, closer to normal, yeah. Yeah, so. we saw really cold temperatures in November last year, so none of that. No, All no. right, Good. thanks, Jamie. Still to come for you tonight, President-elect Joe Biden was given a national security briefing from officials outside of the government today. And Amazon is looking